Hello, I'm Gavin Clark and I'm here with uh, the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park. Uh, the museum houses a collection of some of the most important computers in British history. That's wartime, work time and education. And I'm here with Peter Onion, who looks after one of those systems. Peter, we have thousands of people coming through the museum. We have 50,000 artefacts. What's the one question you get asked the most at the museum? Uh, about my machine, it's what what's it used for? What is your um, machine? What is your machine? So my machine's the Elliott 803. I look after that. Um, as I say, it, it, when people look at it, they it's a pretty bland looking machine. So they say, what does it? You know, what was it used for? And it got quite wide usage actually because um, it was the era when a, a, another tier down in businesses started using computing. The 803 represented very good value. It was very reliable. Um, and, and so smaller companies started to, to pick it up. Um, so there were commercial users, there were scientific users, and there were um, sort of ed educational users as well. So commercial users, just to give a couple of examples, um, there was a knitwear company in Leicester called Coras who had a couple of 803s that they used for um, processing all their telephone orders and, and working that into production planning for all their knitwear. Um, there was another interesting company up in Yorkshire called Thornbers, who were a poultry farm. And they actually used an 803 to process um, the egg laying records of all their chickens. And then they used that for um, selective breeding to, to breed from the best layers. So they got the uh, the most eggs out of them. Um, we look at uh, scientific and engineering users. Um, the post office, the GPO at the time, had a couple of 803s. They had one at Dollis Hill, which they used for um, uh, simulating telephone networks and telephone exchanges uh, for doing capacity planning. And they also ran courses for their engineers there. It was a research centre. It's the place where um, Colossus was built, Yeah, where Tommy Flowers worked. And they ran courses for their engineers uh, to learn how to program the 803. And then they, the engineers could book it on an hourly basis to, you know, to do their calculations for their, their circuit designs or, or whatever it was they were doing. And they also had one down at Goonhilly, which was uh, the, the first Earth station for, um, for satellites. And down there, they used it to calculate uh, the movements that the dish was going to have to take, because you appreciate the early satellites didn't just sit at one point in the sky, they, they flew across the sky. So they used the 803 to calculate where the dish was going to have to move to follow the satellite as it, as it flew across the sky. Um, and then there were many UK universities and, and colleges, smaller colleges, as I say, the smaller colleges, it now became within their grasp. So they used them for teaching and research purposes. And again, it was the, the sort of the good value for money that machine provided that allowed uh, the smaller uh, uh, establishments to, uh, to buy them. And then it also got used in process control and online stuff. So some of the first 803s that came off the production line actually went, uh, were exported to America, uh, sort of Coles to Newcastle type thing, and uh, where they got used for um, process control in chemical plants and uh, things like that. And then in the UK, um, there were several of them got put into, uh, into the steel industry where they got used for controlling uh, rolling mills and things like that. And in fact, one of them paid for itself in six months because it, it calculated where they should cut as the bullets came out of the uh, out foundry. It calculated where to cut them, uh, you know, for what the customers wanted. And, and apparently it paid for itself in about six months in the reduction in scrap. Okay. So th those are some of the sort of things that they got used for.